The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. The compound effect is the operating system that has been running your entire life for better or for worse, whether you realize it or not. What you'll learn today is the operator's manual that teaches you how to master the system. The book is about success and what it really takes to earn it, because the reality is there are no shortcuts or quick fixes. So if you were looking for some magic pill, then turn this video off right now. But if you're still here, I'll share with you how to harness the power of the compound effect. In this video, we'll discuss the story of three friends, the microwave mentality, our friend Big Mo, the power of tracking, the power of consistency, and then finally, the true formula for success. Let's meet three friends, Larry, Scott, and Brad. Right now, each of them earns $50,000 a year. Each married, and each has a little bit of that marriage flap. Larry, he thinks he's happy, but complains occasionally that nothing ever changes. Now Scott, he begins to make small changes, like reading 10 pages of a good book daily and listening to 30 minutes of something inspirational on his way to work. He cuts off 125 calories from his diet, which is like a cup of cereal or less, or like switching from mayo to mustard in a sandwich. He also starts walking a few extra thousand steps a day, less than a mile, nothing huge, just stuff anyone can do. Now Brad, on the other hand, makes a few poor choices. He buys a new big screen TV, installs a bar in his family room, adds one alcoholic drink per week, and tries a new dessert recipe from the Food Channel. Nothing crazy, he just wanted to have fun. The first 18 months, we barely see a difference. But at 25 months, we start seeing really measurable visible differences. At 27, we see a big difference. At 31, the change is startling. Brad is now fat, has less confidence, and has a lower level of happiness. While Scott is now trim, has a good marriage, and even got a promotion at work. Larry represents most people and hasn't really changed. He's what Tony Robbins would call being in no man's land. That's when you're not really happy, but you're not unhappy enough to do something about it. Most people have a microwave mentality. There's people who quit running after 8 days because they're still overweight. Why? Because people want success fast. Like fast food, overnight mail, instant text messaging, instant everything. So what we really need to do is learn to let go of our lottery winning expectations. Let's look at this scenario. Let's say you and your friend Penny Lane was offered a choice between $3 million or a penny that doubled in value every day for 31 days. You decided to take the $3 million while your friend chose the other option. At day 5, your friend only has 16 cents. At day 10, your friend has $5.12. So at this point, how do you think your friend is feeling about her decision while you're spending your millions enjoying it? At day 20, after only 11 days left, your friend only has $5,243. How is she feeling about herself at this point? And then the invisible magic of the compound effect starts to become visible. At day 29, you got 3 million and your friend has 2.7 million. It isn't until day 30 that she pulls away with 5.3 million and not until the last day that she ends up with 10 million. Amazingly, this force of compounding pennies is equally powerful in your every area of your life. Now let's talk about our friend Big Mo. What do you think people like Tiger Woods and Kobe Bryant have in common? They are all aware of the power of momentum. When they start getting results, they keep working as hard as they were doing before and end up achieving even more. Now the truth is, it's not easy to build momentum. The hardest part for a space shuttle is escaping the gravity of the Earth. In fact, the majority of fuel is used during the launch. So when starting from scratch, making the first steps is going to be the hardest part. You then just need to keep putting in the efforts in order to reap the rewards and to keep growing exponentially. Now let's talk about tracking. Now I know many of you might think tracking things is boring, but tracking is a simple exercise and it works because it brings moment to moment awareness to the actions you take in the area of life you want to improve. Professional athletes track everything. Pitchers know their stats on every pitch in their repertoire. Golfers even have more metrics on their swings. Athletes know that when their stats improve, they win more games and earn more in endorsement deals. Tracking a lot of small things 
can lead to big payoffs. Now let's talk about consistency. If you are not consistent, then get ready to say goodbye to your friend Big Mo and know that you'll have to start back at square one. What many don't realize is that small, seemingly insignificant steps completed consistently over time will make a rapid difference. One small effect may cause a ripple effect that may impact your entire life. For me personally, I was getting only 40 views on my first 5 videos months ago. I kept making videos, kept improving how to promote and build a community in various social medias while listening to constructive criticisms and suggestions and now I'm doing a little better. And I'd like to look back at this video in the future and see how much my consistency has paid off. Now for the true formula for success. It's really simple. Small smart choices plus consistency plus time equal radical difference equal success. Like I said, there are no shortcuts or magical pills for success. You just have to put in the work, time, and be consistent. But now that you're aware of the compound effect, will you let it make your life go crashing downhill? Or will you take advantage of it to be successful and live the life you've always wanted? Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Aaron Tupaz of Positively Brainwashed. And if you like this video, then choose one of the following. You can either A, subscribe and like, B, listen to the share bear over there and show that you care, C, watch my previous book review, or D, tell me to jump off a bridge.